Hello and welcome to ESPN Cricket Info Dailies. I am Ronak Kapoor. Our top stories from the world of cricket today. Mohammad Hafiz called up to the Pakistan Test squad. MSK Prasad speaks out on Karun Nair's omission from the Test squad to face the West Indies. Australia women seal the three-match T20I series against New Zealand, and the second India vs West Indies ODI could be shifted from Indore. Let's get underway then. In Pakistan, have added all-rounder Mohammad Hafiz to their squad for the two-test series against Australia in the UAE. Hafiz's inclusion is understood to have been made to bolster an inexperienced Pakistan top order that features Imam Ulak and the uncapped Fakhar Zaman alongside regular Test opener Azhar Ali. The all-rounder was demoted to Category B in the PCB's list of centrally contracted players and was also ignored by the selectors for the recently concluded Asia Cup. With time in hand, Hafiz had an excellent run in Pakistan's first-class tournament after opening the competition with a six-wicket haul. From one selection call to another, and after controversially dropping batsman Karun Nair from the Test squad, India's chairman of selectors M S K Prasad has advised the batsmen to keep piling the runs on in the domestic circuit and for India A. Prasad also clarified that he had personally spoken to Nair after leaving him out of the 15-man squad for the West Indies series at home. The chief selector further stated that Nair had been spoken to in England as well, where the batsman sat out for the entirety of the tour despite being named in the squad for all five tests. Over to some women's cricket news, and Australia have taken an unassailable two-nil lead in the T20I series against New Zealand after half centuries from Elisa Healy and Elise Villani powered the hosts to a comfortable six-wicket win in Brisbane. Player of the match Megan Shoot delivered a miserly spell of three for 15 from four overs to keep the White Ferns under 150, despite a stunning innings from former New Zealand captain Susie Bates. In response, Healy smashed 10 boundaries on her way to 57, while Villani sealed the win, bringing up her half century in the process. And lastly, the second ODI between India and the West Indies, scheduled for October 24, could be moved out of Indore following a tussle of complementary ticket allocation between the BCCI and the Madhya Pradesh Cricket Association. With the BCCI's request for complementary seats in the pavilion block of the Holkar Stadium exceeding that of the allowed limit as per the new constitution, the MPCA have decided to step away from hosting the second ODI. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.